In the last section, we discussed planning stakeholder engagement, and during this section, you're going to discuss how to manage your stakeholder engagement. This includes engaging with them at the appropriate times to ensure their continued support of the project, managing their expectations and addressing concerns and resolving issues that they may have. The key components of this section are your project management plan, your project documents, enterprise environmental factors, and any organizational requirements. As you can see, these are the inputs for every single process in project management. Remember, the project, project management is iterative process and plans determine how you will do the work. It's how you will do the work. Basically, using the output of your last section, your stakeholder engagement plan, you should be able to use it to determine the appropriate level of engagement and how you are going to engage and when with your key stakeholders. Other than your plan, what tools do you have to help you with this process? Well, this is where your role as a project manager may become more challenging. You're going to need to rely on your interpersonal skills to effectively engage in meaningful communication with your stakeholders. This may be involve long conversations, listening to their needs, and resolving any concerns they may have. It will take management skills to facilitate negotiations and cooperation with everyone involved. And it will take strong communication skills and methods to keep stakeholders informed using the appropriate modes and techniques. Your communication management plan becomes very important at this point and should clearly articulate the who, what, how, and when people are communicating to the stakeholders. It should prioritize those communications so as not to inundate the stakeholders with too much information and it should indicate how, meaning mode of communication, you should use for each stakeholder. For some people, it's a phone call. For others, it's email or Skype. And lastly, it should indicate whether you use a push or a pull method for each person. Keep in mind, this is an interactive part of the project management plan and will include lots of people. And you should identify the types of push or pull communications that are determined most appropriate for each situation or person. The outputs of your managed uh, stakeholder engagement plan should be updates to your overall project management plan, any change requests made by your stakeholders during this process, updates to any other documents, and anything required internally to the organization. This can include reports, presentations, updating progress, feedback, or lessons learned, anything that can be recorded for current or future use. So now that we've discussed engaging your stakeholders and what you should expect during this process and some of the desired outputs, in our next session we'll see how to control that process.